What's going on, nation? So this video was actually inspired by a fellow Hermonite. I have this really bad habit of staying up way too late at night, but you know what? Things happen for a reason, and so I feel like this, you know, I've been trying to get to bed early, but I have been having a hard time doing that, but because of this, this video has now spawned, and what I mean by that is, Usually always, you know, before I go to bed, like I was about to go to sleep and I always refresh my email just to make sure I don't have anything else from anybody. I work with my IT team uh, really late at night on my website. And so I clicked refresh and I had an email come from a Hermanite who I had talked to in the past. And so I opened it up to see what it said. And basically, this Hermanite was, and I'm, I'm not going to say, you know, their name. I just don't want to put them on the spot. But I do hope that they do find comfort in this, this video that I am making because it is about them. So they had reached out to me and basically just gave me this, you know, list of things that are making them depressed. And so talking about how, you know, you know, work ha is becoming overbearing, school's a little overbearing, um, studying for, you know, getting his degree is becoming overbearing, life in general, you know, not not finding their true love and all these other things. And was thinking about just kind of ending it all, you know. And then he quickly wrote after that, obviously I, I didn't because he sent me the email, you know. And he said he actually wrote me the email as he was coming home from wherever he was. I think it was, he was like on a bus or on a train or something and he was typing me this email. And so basically saying, you know, like looking at me and my life and, you know, he looks up to me a lot and he's like, you know, I see how happy you are with Erica and you found the love of your life and you have this great job and you have all these great opportunities and, you know, they inspired me but at the same time, you know, get me kind of feeling down because I don't have these things yet and I work very hard. And so I had replied and I basically said things along the lines of, oh, and he also told me that um, you know, he was also starting to feel like his anorexia was coming back. It was something that he had dealt with in the past. And I have to bring that up because I'm trying to prove a point. And so this individual is in phenomenal shape, may mind you. And I know you're probably watching this video. You're in phenomenal shape, man. You might even look better than I do, okay? You're in phenomenal shape. Um, and so one of the things I said, I said, you know, man, you know, life isn't all sunshine and rainbows. And we all love that speech by Sylvester Stallone where he talks about how, you know, nothing hits harder than life. Life is the hardest thing that'll ever hit you, you know, and it's true. Life, life will come at you from all different ways. You could be having the best day of your life and life can come at you and just throw you a curveball. So you have to be appreciative of everything that you have and the opportunities you have. And whenever something negative impacts your life, you have to understand that there's a reason why why, you know, and it's funny, I'm probably a lot older than, you know, some of the Herm, actually, no, the, the Hermanites range from like probably 14 to 15 to like 50, so I, I'm like a middle-aged Hermanite, <laughs> I'm 30 years old, but you know, I can look back and whether it's relationships or business opportunities, I mean, I can look back and, and see girls that I had liked when I was younger and now I'm like, thank God that never worked out, you know, and you, I'm sure a lot of you can look back and see relationships where people who you thought were the love of your life and then as you get older and you find that, that, tr that someone who truly is the love of your life, how much happier you are and how you kind of realize that even though you were upset at the time when you found that other person that it didn't work out for a reason. I mean, Erica and I, I mean, I met Erica when I was 25, you know, it takes time to find that special someone and so it's going to take, you know, you guys time to find that special someone as well but what I, mean, I don't want to get too far off track here, but I basically wrote back to him and I said, listen, man, I go, you know, nothing hits harder than life and think, curb, curveball is going to be thrown at you and you can't, you can't compare your life to someone else, you know, especially being a young person because, you know, you still got plenty of time to grow and develop and go out there and reach those opportunities and just because someone looks like they have this amazing life, you know, it doesn't mean they don't have their own hardships or things they have to deal with. I mean, I think that I have a pretty good life, but I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I can deal with bullshit all the time, and I say bullshit instead of BS, normally I don't swear on my channel because it's bullshit, there's a lot of it, you know, it affects all of us, whether it's, you know, you know, family troubles or financial things or things break, you gotta fix things, you gotta take time to do stuff, like, we all have the same problems, you know, and it's funny growing up when you see people, you know, when I used to go to high school, people would be like, oh, I can't wait to move out of this town and go to a different town. It's like every town has the same problem, guys. You know, you're going to face the BS every one, you know, sometime sooner or later. And so I had said to this guy, I was like, listen, man, you know, 
everybody has the same problems. I go, and don't even come at me with this anorexia crap coming back up because look at yourself. You've already beat this thing. Don't let that be an excuse to justify how you feel right now. Like, just get that out of your head. And I said, you know, I, you know, you can't, you can't be letting life beat you down like this. It's going to take time, but in time, you know, that special someone will come into your life. Like, don't feel like you have to find and get all of these things at once. And I know things can be overbearing, especially when you're young. I mean, I remember being in college, waking up at 5 a.m. and driving to the gym and training clients and, drive, and then going back to school and having two or three classes, going back to the gym and training clients, going back to the school, having a few more classes, and then going back to the gym, training clients, working out, going home and doing homework and repeat for four years. Like, I've been there. I've done that. It's tough, you know? All I had to eat, I think, during all four years of college was chicken, pasta, and peanut butter and bagels and protein shakes. I mean, it's just whatever I could get in, in me while I was trying to do all this crazy stuff. Like, life is going to be hard, and you got to understand that the harder life is, usually it's because the reward at the end is going to be greater. The universe will test you to see if you're going to be able to get that reward, at, you know, whatever, is it, whatever that pot of gold is at the end of the rainbow, the universe is going to test you to see if you deserve it, you know, and not everyone deserves that pot of gold, and not everyone will get there, and it, you can see it all the way all around us. Not everybody is super successful, so if you want to be super successful, you have to understand that hardships are what are going to happen. Because if they didn't happen, everybody would be successful. You know, and I know I'm sure you guys probably get frustrated when you see people who don't exactly deserve to be successful. Maybe they're just, you know, douchebags and they have all these great things happening to them. And that bothers everybody. It bothers me. I'm sure it bothers you. You know, I just tell myself maybe that person in a previous life was like a saint and they're being rewarded in this life. And then unfortunately, because they're a douchebag in the next life, they're not going to have much of anything. But you get where I'm going with that. And so I responded to him. I was like, listen, man, you know, you'll make it through all of this stuff and, and you'll, you'll accomplish all your goals. But, you know, you, you can't be so hard on yourself. You have to give yourself time to grow. I said, you know, what you need to do is you need to make a road map and you need to really sit down, think about what makes you happy and what's going to make you happy and write down that road map that's going to lead to that success and to those goals, you know? Like really sit down and focus and write it out. By physically writing things out, it's going to help you visualize those goals easier and it's going to help take a lot of stress out of your head, you know? And, I, and he also told me that he hadn't told anybody else. He was only reaching out to me to tell me how depressed he was. And I said to him, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably thinking, you know, you should have, you know, contacted someone or contacted one of these hotlines that you can call, or you, this, that, and the other thing. And I thought about doing that, but at the same time, I fit, you know, <laughs> If someone's reaching out to you specifically asking for help and you kind of just say, hey, call this number and you don't really try to help them, I feel like that's worse, you know, and I do care about you guys. I hope you understand and you see the comments in the comment section and all the responding I do. I really do care about you guys and I don't want to see any of you guys struggling or upset or going through these times. And so I took it upon myself to reply as best I could. And, you know, I'm more of a tough love kind of guy. And so I gave him some tough love and I said, you know, on top of you know, not using anorexia as an excuse and not worrying about finding your true love because they'll come eventually and, you know, making a life journey for yourself. I said, you know, you got to talk to your family because if any of you guys are watching this video and you're feeling depressed, even if it's like a very minute amount of depression, you should talk to someone, you should talk to your family because family's there, family loves you, family and friends will always be there to support you and you got to always have that support group, you know, you have to have that. And so, you know, then I ended the email and I said, you know, we care about you and if you need any help, be sure to reach out to us. You know, you can contact me here, or you can join us on the website and the forums and, you know, there's people who will talk to you and help you. And so the next day I ended up getting an email back and, you know, he was very, very happy and he was like, you know, I really appreciate, you know, you, you taught, you giving me advice, but also kind of giving me the tough love, you know, which I, I felt like it would work the best. And I was really happy to hear that, you know, it kind of helped him put his, his life back on track and visualize what he needs to visualize and kind of cut out some of the things that were bothering him and just focus on himself, you know. Every single one of you, every single person in the world, in the universe, has the ability to accomplish amazing things, you know? And I know it doesn't seem like that, and maybe right now, maybe you're in school, or maybe you're not in school, or maybe you have all these things you want to do, and it seems like, 
all these road map, all these roadblocks keep popping up all the way around you. I mean, that happens to everyone. And we call those roadblocks stepping stones. And you gotta step over those stepping stones and keep doing it until you get to your ultimate goal. And that's when you'll truly be happy. And it will happen. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer for others, okay? So you gotta stay focused, you gotta stay on track, and you gotta remember, you know. That song by Pitbull, you know, every day above ground's a good day, you know, and it's true. You could be having the worst day of your life, but every day above ground is a day for you to take hold, take charge, and make your goals happen. So, I mean, if any of you guys are going through a tough time in your life right now, make sure you reach out to someone, make sure you talk to somebody. People do care about you. Man, leave a comment in the comment section below and just pour your heart out. I mean, no one's gonna know who you are on YouTube or social media. You can even make a fake account. I really don't care. The only thing I wanna make sure that you do is you reach out to someone for help. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope, um, I almost keep saying their name, but I can't do that, but I hope you get to watch this video too and you know, see that you know the community really does care about you and the community does care about all the, of our community members and we just wanna make sure everyone's happy, you're reaching your goals and if you're depressed, let's turn that frown upside down. And that was a really cheesy thing to say but I said it so deal with it. <laughs> so guys, you know, as always, more good stuff coming soon. It's pretty late night right now, I gotta get home, I gotta get ready, I gotta plan to catch going to the Arnold Classic tomorrow. My flight, and speaking of that, my flight's been canceled two times in a row, about to go for three. So you know, think bad things happen to everyone and it's stressful. But you know what, you just gotta think positive and get over the hump. See you guys later.